Daddy, we lift your name higher. 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 Jesus, we lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. Jesus, we lift your name higher. There is no God like unto our God. He rules and reigns in Zion. From everlasting to everlasting, our God remains the same. No God can be compared nor likened unto our God. He reigns in majesty. He reigns forever. Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah to the God that never fails. Jesus, you are worthy. Jesus, you are mighty. Jesus, you are excellent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He rules and reigns in Zion. Forever he remains our God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have given praise. Hallelujah. I welcome you again, children of God, to the presence of the Most High God. Our God is awesome. Our God is faithful. Our God is marvelous. Look at what he has done for us. Look at what he has done for you and I. Hallelujah. That songwriter says, see what the Lord has done. Hallelujah, see what the Lord has done. What we, what, we, what we think was not able to be done, our God did it for us. I don't really know that song, but it's a powerful song, children of God. It's a powerful song. I don't know, you know, what is in your life that you want God to take charge. I don't know what is in your life that God has not done for you, that you are saying, oh God, I wish you would do this X, Y, Z for me. God is saying he has come to tell you that today is your set time to be delivered. Hallelujah. We are hunting our, um, our topic again on, um, we are still continuing on the theme, changing your destiny through prayers. Changing your destiny through prayers. And we are taking on a topic uh, that says, your set time has come to be delivered. The set time for you to be delivered is now. The set time for me to be delivered is now. God will deliver you and I from the clouds of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Welcome one, once again to the Watch and Pray Fellowship. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, child of God. Our God is faithful. Our God is kind. Our God is marvelous. Our God is excellent. There is no good thing with, that the Lord will withhold from those that are putting their trust in him. God loves you and I, and he will not leave us nor forsake us. He will not allow the world to laugh at us. He will not allow them to ask us, where is our God? In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. The Bible reading for today is in Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, 24 through 26. We see the word of God that says, He says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive delivered? Hmm. It's a question that you should answer for yourself. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive be delivered? Verse 25 said, But thus said the Lord God of hosts, the God that we serve, the God that you and I put our trust on. He said, Thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. He said, for I, the Lord, I, the Lord, he said, I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. Hallelujah. It is the word of the Lord, and it's marvelous in our sight. Hallelujah. If you are hearing my, the sound of my voice, please invite others to join us because we are going to pray some few prayer points today. And I'm trusting God that God will deliver you and I from the manipulation of the wicked, from the captivity of the wicked in the 
name of Jesus. If you read down to verse 26 of Isaiah 49, it says, And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and the Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. You see? That's why I tell you that you have every reason to praise the Lord. You have every reason to be rest assured that your battle is taken care of. God is fighting for you. He said, don't worry about them. They are manipulating. They are fighting you. They are, you know, trying as much as, they, as possible to cage you in that situation that you find yourself. But the Lord is saying, he said, I will not only contend with them that contend with you. He said, I will feed those that oppress you with their own flesh and will cause them to begin to drink their own blood as sweet wine. It is the word of God for somebody. That's why you have to be what? You have to be strong in the Lord. You have to put your absolute confidence in him because the set time for God to deliver you is now. I have come to declare to you by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that every area of your life uh, that the devil has trapped, every area of your destiny that the devil have caged so that you will not manifest the glory of God, the blessing of God. I tell you, you and I will be set free this day in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will set us free because it is our set time. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. I just want you to know this before we go into prayers, that being in captivity is mean that you are in a trap, that you are hold or bound in a trap of the wicked, that the enemy have said, you know, have hold you captive in one position. It can be in the form of indebtedness or in the form of sickness. It can be in any form, in the form of barrenness, in the form of, you know, rising and falling you make it today tomorrow you are you are like looking for wood to help you or borrow you ah that is not the will of god for you and i the word of god makes us to understand that every sinner is a lawful captive of the wicked that is why i've come to tell you that if you want this time to be your set time for god to deliver you this last sunday of the month of july 2023 you want god to set you free you want this time to be your time of deliverance deliverance. You have to do away with sin. You have to say bye-bye to sin. Whatsoever you know that God does not like. Any good child will not want to offend their father. Whatsoever your heavenly father says he does not like. Do away with it. Ask the Lord by his mercy to give you the grace to live above circumstances and the, 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 the circumstances of sin that is surrounding your life. Hallelujah. When you can do away with sin, I tell you, your deliverance surely will come today. Amen. Denounce it. Just denounce it. Say, Lord, I forsake all that I have done. I come to you in all humility, in all totality. Forgive me. And the Lord will forgive you and I and set us free in the name of Jesus. Whether you know it or not, child of God, there are many believers today that are battling with different kind of spiritual challenges. They are battling with some kind of um, problems in life that the wicked has caged them yet you know we are children of god the bible says in psalm 11 verse 3 you see if the foundation be destroyed what can the righteous do what the righteous can do is what i'm telling you right now first accepting jesus into your life as your lord and savior denouncing your sins and all the things that you have done that you know that your heavenly father does not like tell them bye bye i do them no more the stealing i used to do i do them no more the lies i used to tell i tell them no more. Fornication, I do them no more. Adultery, I do them no more. Turn yourself to the Lord and he will turn to you and your life will never remain the same. Every spiritual challenges that you and I are going through, though the foundation be destroyed, we serve a God that is able to, destroy, to rearrange and rebuild our foundation because we are now in Christ. The Bible says when you are in Christ, it says all things have become new. All things have passed away. Hallelujah. Some of the challenges that some of us are going through, even as believers, are what? Poverty, 
barrenness. We are going through, uh, you know, mountains and mountains of debts, indebtedness, struggling in every kind of areas, sickness of every kind. And you begin to wonder how, how with this God that says he will protect me, why am I going through this? All those are challenges that the devil brings our ways as believers so as to discourage us from trusting absolutely in God. But today I've come to remind you not to give up, child of God, because your set time has come to be delivered for everything in life that God created. It is. It has a set time. A set time to cry. A set time to mourn. A set time to rejoice. A set time to celebrate. This is your own set time to be delivered. God said he will deliver you and I. And I believe the word of God. Only do your bids and God will arise and fight for you. Take away every disappointment from your life and build you up to stand in the name of Jesus. What do I mean? You know, when I talk about, you know, uh, challenges in the life of believers, uh, I mean that uh, many believers are trapped, are trapped by the demonic forces of life. And though we go to church, uh, and, but uh, 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 though we go to church, yet we still face these challenges. The devil may have trapped you in any way, in any form. He may have trapped you in an endless battle of defeat, but Christ has come today to set you free and free you will remain in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, child of God, that the Bible says only the violent can take it by force. Only the violent can take it by force. Today, you will take your destiny by force. You will deliver your children by force. You will deliver your children. You will deliver yourself, deliver your spouse by the word of your mouth, by your prayers today. The devil will not be able to withstand what God is about to do in your life. Only if you will take up the stand by force. If you desire to be free, God will set you free. In the name of Jesus, the word of God is yea and amen. Don't forget our text that we took from the book of Isaiah 49, from verse 26, I mean 24 to 26. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered? You will be delivered because the Lord says, he say, even though the captives, you know, of the mighty is taken away and the prey of the terrible, it, it, it shall be delivered. He said, for I, the Lord, I, the Lord, will contend with them that contended with you. May the Lord contend with your enemies. May the Lord conquer for you. May the Lord deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Thank you, Jesus. As we go into prayers this hour, I want you to invite other people. I want you to talk to the Lord yourself. I want you to surrender all to him and let him be God in your life. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands and just begin to thank the Lord. Just begin to appreciate the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for making me See, the last Sunday in the month of July, 2023, God's been awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So many saw the first Sunday in this year, 2023, but are not given the opportunity to see this last Sunday of June. So many saw even the first day of July, but they could not see the last day of the, the last Sunday in the month of July 2023, God spared our lives, not because we are better than them, not because we are righteous than them, not because of your good works, but because of his mercy, because of his faithfulness. Praise the Lord, child of God. Tell him thank you. He deserves all our praise. He deserves our worship. Baba, we give you praise. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our spouses. Thank you for the work of our hands. Thank you for all that you have blessed us. Thank you for your protection over us. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want you to begin to cover yourself and your family with the blood of Jesus. Say, Lord, I cover my life. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. Daddy, we plead the blood. Let the blood be a covering over us. The Bible says that when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Let everything and anything that is not of God by the reason of the blood of Jesus upon our lives, let them pass over us. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood of the Lamb of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what is in your life that may not, that will not allow your prayers to ascend up to heaven or for you to receive answers to your prayers. I want you to ask God for mercy. Cry unto God like the psalmist did unto God. In Psalm 51, he, he cried out unto God. He said, have mercy upon me according to thy loving kindness. Cry out unto God for his mercy. Have mercy upon me, Lord, according to thy loving kindness, according unto thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being merciful unto me. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want you, child of God, to lift up your voice right now and stand against the wiles of the wicked. Say, in the name of Jesus, I stand against every wiles of the devil and all his, uh, all his agents that may want to barricade my prayer, that may want to truncate my prayer or to barricade the answer to my prayer. In the name of Jesus, the power is in your tongue, child of God. Take authority. The Bible says what Whatsoever you will bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you will lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Take authority, child of God, in the name that is above every other name. Every barricade of the wicked, every conjuration of the wicked, every invocation of the wicked, every enchantment, every definition, every manipulation, every libation quarter to manipulate my prayer, to manipulate the answer to my prayer, in the name that is above every other name. I arrest and render them useless in the name of Jesus because the power has been given unto me. Authority has been given unto me. I render their works useless in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Child of God, one more time. I want you to say in the name of Jesus, I arrest every satanic power operating in my life. Every satanic power operating in my family. Every satanic power operating against my work, against the work of my hands, against my ministry, against the calling of God upon your life, against your academics, against your health. In the name of Jesus, by the authority in that name, Jesus. Father, we arrest every satanic power operating against us, operating in our lives, operating in our homes, operating in our environment. We arrest them by the authority in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child of God, I hope you are praying. Please invite somebody. You don't know who God wants to deliver today. Let God use you to deliver somebody. Hallelujah. You are going to lift up your voice and you are going to say in the name of Jesus, everything that is representing me in the demonic world, everything representing me in the marine covert, everything representing me in the witches and wizards covert, everything representing me or any of my children or any of my... Uh, or any member of my family in the coven of the occultism in the name of Jesus right now let them be destroyed by fire let them be destroyed by fire let the fire that came down as Elijah prayed la father let fire came down and begin to consume everything and anything representing my life representing my family in the covens of darkness in the marine world in the occultic world beneath the sea on the sea in the land, on the hair, wherever it is. Father, let your fire descend and consume them. Let your fire burn to them to ashes. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I hope you are praying. I'm not going to take your time. I'm wrapping up very soon. But I want you to pray this prayer with a purpose. Pray this prayer understanding that your time has come to be delivered. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up your voice, child of God, and say, oh Lord, my father, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit begin to break every yoke of backwardness in my life, every yoke of sickness, every yoke of indebtedness, every yoke of barrenness, 
break every yoke of, of, of marital failure in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Spirit begin to break every yoke that is not of God for my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise, break every yoke, break every yoke, break every yoke. Let the power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost begin to break every yoke of sickness, every yoke of backwardness, every yoke of bitterness, every yoke of sorrow, every yoke of, 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 of frustration, every yoke of depression. In the name of Jesus, let the power of the Holy Ghost, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, let it begin to break it from our lives, O oh Lord. Break them out of our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I hope you are praying. You are going to lift up your voice again and you are going to say in the name of Jesus, I frustrate every demonic manipulation in my life. I frustrate you. Every demonic manipulation in my family, in the, in my academics, in the life of, life of my family members, in the name of Jesus. Ah, my... My Lord and my Savior, I break and frustrate them. I frustrate their works. I frustrate the work of darkness in my life. I frustrate the work of darkness in my family. Every every work of demonic manipulation in my life, oh Lord, I frustrate them. I frustrate them. I frustrate them. I frustrate manipulation of the wicked in my family, Lord. I frustrate their tokens. It will not stand. It will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, I frustrate, oh Lord, every demonic manipulation against my children against my spouse, against the work of my hands, against my academics, against that which concerns me, against my ministry, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you are praying. You are going to lift up your voice again and you are going to cry out to God. You are going to say, by the blood of Jesus, I remove every evil label that is labeling me, oh Lord, everywhere I go. Instead of me to prosper, I find myself in indebtedness. I find myself frustrated. I find myself depressed. I find myself in sickness. Oh Lord, today, let every such label be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus wipe off from my life, oh Lord, from my family, oh Lord. Lord, every label, every label that is not of God for my life, evil label that makes the wicked to recognize and, in, and afflict my life everywhere I go to. Jehovah Lord, by the power in the blood, Father, erase them. Father, erase them from my life. Father, erase them from my life. Every evil label, Jehovah, erase. Jehovah, erase by the power in your blood that you say when you set me free, I am free indeed. Whatsoever mark is upon on my body that is making the wicked to recognize and afflict me everywhere and anywhere I go. Jehovah, in the name of Jesus, Daddy, pull it, oh Lord. Daddy, let the blood wash me. Let the blood wash my children. Let the blood wash my family. In the name of Jesus, set us free, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to cry out to God again and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I revoke every evil decree that has been made against my life. Every evil decree made against my family, made against the work of my hands, made against my health, made against my spouse from the coven of darkness. In the name of Jesus, ah, Father, right now, no oh Lord, I revoke them. I revoke them. I revoke them by the authority in the name of Jesus. I revoke evil decrees. In the name of Jesus, it will not stand. It will not prosper. Every evil decrees against my life, against my family, it will not stand. In the name of Jesus, I revoke them. In the name of Jesus, I revoke them. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, thank you because I know it is done. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want you to take authority again and say, my father, my father, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I command every satanic garment that is covering my life to destroy me. Every ga garment of witches, every garment of wizard, every garment of my father's power, of the powers of my father's house, every garment of the powers of my mother's house, every garment of the powers of my spouse's house that is covering the glory of my family covering them my life so that I will not receive anything good so that I will not move forward so that I will not be delivered so that the helpers will not locate me and help me today in the name of Jesus I command that garment to be destroyed I destroy you by, by thunder I destroy you by fire in the name of
name of Jesus. Begin to destroy them. Begin to destroy them. Destroy them from your life. Destroy them from your family. Every evil garment covering your family, covering the glory of your life, the glory of your family, the glory of your of the, of the work of your hands. Begin to pull them down. Set them on fire. In the name of Jesus, I pull it out. I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil garment hey, 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 that is covering my life, covering the work of my hands, covering my glory, covering my helpers, so they will not see me. In the name of Jesus, I uncover right now. In the name of Jesus, I set them ablaze. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, Please, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, before we round up this prayer, just invite somebody. Invite somebody. Hallelujah. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, ring the bell, and give us a thumbs up if you think God is doing great things through us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is faithful. Our God is powerful. Our God is excellent. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, lift up your voice again and cry out to God and say, oh Lord, my father, let the anointing to excel in my career, in my in the work of my hands, in my home, in every aspect of my life. Let it come upon me. Let the anointing of excellence come upon my life. Let the anointing of excellence come upon my children's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says that our children will be the head and not the tail. We declare a decree that the power, the anointing of excellence come upon our children's life. In in their academics, they will excel. In our place of employment, we will excel. We will not be the tail. We will be the head. In the name of Jesus, everywhere we find ourselves, we will excel in whatever they, our hands find to do. In the name of Jesus, God will bless us in our going out, in our coming in. The anointing of excellence will come upon us. If you are doing business, the anointing of excellence will come upon the work of your hands. That men will begin to sort for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You are going to pray again. You are going to lift up your voice. We have five more prayer requests. Five more prayers to go. Hallelujah. You are going to say in the name of Jesus, I command my enemies to bow down for, for the name of Jesus in my life. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. I run into the name of Jesus. Let every enemies of my life bow. In the name of Jesus, every enemies of my success, let them bow. In the name of Jesus, every enemies of my family. Let them bow because we are hidden in the light in, in Christ Jesus. My, my father, I pray thee that you arise, oh Lord, and cause every enemies of my life to bow under the authority in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to lift up your voice again and say in the name of Jesus, every, the, every desert and poverty place in my life, I bind you. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of poverty in my life, I bind you. Every spirit of indebtedness in my life, I bind you. In the name of Jesus, you will not rise to torment me again. In the mighty name of Jesus, every place that the enemies are occupying in my life, Hey, 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 to cause it to become a desert, to cause it to become a wilderness, to cause it to become dry. In the name of Jesus, I destroy that place. I destroy that their hiding place. And I, I plead the blood of Jesus to come into that area and begin to lubricate me to move forward. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lastly, you are going to say in the name of Jesus. I pull down all the strongholds erected against my progress. Whatever stronghold has been has been programmed to withhold you from progressing, to withhold you from making it in life. Say in the name of Jesus, I pull it down. I pull it down. I pull it down. I pull it down. In the name of Jesus, I pull it down. Right now, I pull it down. In the name of Jesus, I pull it down. I pull it down. I pull it down. In Jesus' name, I pull it down. Oh, Lord, my Father, every strongholds of the wicked erected against my life, in the name of Jesus, I pull them down. I pull them down. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy their stronghold from my life. It will not stand it will not prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you because I know it is settled in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. This hour in the name of Jesus, 
I call your blessings to drop down upon your people in the mighty name of Jesus. As many that are hearing the sound of my voice, wherever they are located, O oh Lord, wherever they are connected, O oh Lord, to this so Lord God Almighty, to this platform in the name that is above every other name. Father, let this be their set time to be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let this be their set time to be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let every manipulation, let every conjuration, let every invocation, let every enchantment against each and every one of us be swallowed up by the power in the name of Jesus. Father, the Bible says when light comes in, darkness must give way. Anything and everything representing darkness in our lives that is swallowing up, oh Lord, our blessing, that is swallowing up, oh Lord, our our the, the, our celebrations in the name of Jesus. Light has come in. We command them to give way in the name of Jesus. We command them to give way in the name of Jesus. We set the work of darkness in our lives at least in the name of Jesus. Every effigy. Every effigy, every instrument representing us in the covens of darkness. What are you waiting for? Our God is against you. Catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, O oh Lord, from on high upon each and every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every child at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. Thank you for raining down your blessing on us. This last Sunday in the month of July 2023, we thank you Lord for the for opening up the floodgates of heaven and releasing unto us the blessing of deliverance. Thank you Father. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you to everyone who um, find time to listen to this broadcast today. Uh, we were supposed to do it yesterday, Saturday, but uh, for some reason, uh, we couldn't uh, come on live uh, on Saturday, which was yesterday. And that's why we are putting this up here today. Please, if you have an opportunity, by the grace of God, Begin to share. Share for other people. Invite other people to be delivered. God wants to deliver somebody through you. You are the platform that God is looking for. Make yourself available for God to use to bring other people into his kingdom, to deliver them from the clouds of the wicked, from the trap that the devil has kept them. Let God do what only him will do in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless each and every one of us. Once again, this is the Watch and Pray Fellowship. We invite you to join us next Saturday at 1.45 p.m. Central Time. Hallelujah. 1.45 p.m. Central Time. God bless each and every one of us. In the name of Jesus, thank you. And have a blessed, blessed, blessed rest of the week in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.